All right, back in the shop today, working on a 357 build. I'm working on uh, machining these pistons on the valve reliefs here. I got an old piston, <clears throat> and I'm going to get this set up in the piston vise here. And I'm going to check to make sure that this angle is right. that and take this off of here and now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put a collet in here with a wiggler and uh, line up on this uh, intake valve relief here What I did here is I put the <clears throat> these pistons are the same bore as the block and I put the piston in the, in the cylinder and I made a, a transfer punch and I punched the center line of the intake valve and the exhaust valve so <clears throat> I'm gonna move this, uh, this table out here down here let me get away There, that'll make it a little easier to see. Um, when I had the new piston on the rod in the cylinder, when I put the <clears throat> cylinder head on with a 40,000 stick head gasket and put the rock arms and stuff on, while the valves were hitting the piston, I couldn't rotate it. So let's uh, fire this up here a second. And... over that should be right in the center Let's see here a sec how close we are Drop that down in there. This is zero zero, and we'll go over to the intake, so the exhaust side.
should line up right there. Okay, now I've got my location of both my valves, and we can take this wiggler out of here and uh, put in the boring head, and I'll be right back. All right, I got the boring head put in, and it's on center, and now what I have to do is I have to set my depth here. So what I'm going to do is use a piece of paper here until I feel it dragging. right there paper is four thousandths thick so I'll bring this quill down four thousandths Just touching there. Okay. <clears throat> now I gotta bring this out. that okay zero this zero this <clears throat> lock the table okay now we'll run this back in Piston out of the vise. And we'll get a new piston here. Get that set up.
mark this with a magic marker so I can see where it's cutting. These valve reliefs on the new pistons weren't deep enough and they weren't big enough radially. <clears throat> Took a little bit at first to figure out how I was going to cut them. Alrighty. have the collet tight. I have to start over here with the checking the depth. I'll be right back. Now I got the boring head tight. We'll try this again.
Alrighty. Get the bolt off here. See how we did. Looks good. All right, now I'm gonna set up for the exhaust valve relief. And uh, <clears throat> I'll be right back. Let me get a brush, brush off the relationships. <clears throat> All right. I'm going to get set up to do the valve relief here for the exhaust, and I'll be right back. All right, I got the valve relief set up for the exhaust, and the boring head's in, and I double-checked with the old piston, the radius and stuff, and uh, we'll start cutting this one. <laughs>
Alrighty, that valve release is done, and uh, I'll clean this piston off here and get it put on a rod, and we'll put it in a cylinder and we'll check it, see how it fits. I'll be back. All right, I got you over to the motor here now, and uh, I got the piston in. I got the clay put in the valve reliefs here, and uh, gonna put a head on it. This is a 40 thousandths thick head gasket. <clears throat> gonna put the push rods, the head on, the push rods in, and uh, get the get the valves adjusted. Turn this over so that it's on compression stroke. There we go. Put this head on here. Put a couple nuts on. To Bolt this down temporarily. push rods I'm using are just some <clears throat> old ones I made one adjustable one and one that the length is kind of close I got to readjust them here Put this in here and I gotta get oh that's loose okay good I'm just adjusting it so it's got just a maybe a thou or two clearance.
10 degrees before and 10 degrees after here. Alright, go past it here. Back to top dead center. And we'll pull these off, take it apart, see what it looks like. See what our clay looks like. Looks pretty good. Um, this is where the the valve um, made an impression. It looks like I've got plenty of clearance on the right, on the back side. And it looks over here. Yep. What I'll do is I'll take a razor blade and I'll cut this clay and we can kind of see about where it's at. what this looks like here you can kind of see the thickness of the clay there I got about 60 thousandths on the intake and you can see the um, thickness of the clay on the radial relief um, where I cut the piston and uh, um, <clears throat> 60 thousandths is really not enough on the intake um, but I really don't want to cut the valve relief any deeper because in the corner then your material starts getting too thin so I'm afraid what I'm going to have to do is put a uh, 80 thousandths thick head gasket on it and that'll give me enough on the intake valve relief. Also with the little bit of dome here on the piston and the such small chamber, um, the compression figured out to be like 16 to one. 
um, which for if you were running methanol on it, that'd be that'd be great. Um, but being this is going to run on uh, uh, 112 racing gas, um, that's a little bit too much. So what I'm going to do is between the thicker head gasket and I'm going to I'm going to mill off this little bit of a dome. That'll take that that'll reduce the it'll it'll increase the the volume and uh that'll make it about 13.8 to 1 which is good for racing gas um yeah it'll hurt the power a little bit you'd make more power if you're running on methanol anyway but um he's not going to do that he's going to run on racing gas so um i'll be right back all right i'm back over at the bench and uh, um, that pretty is pretty much it as far as uh, cutting the valve reliefs and pistons. What I got to do after I get done machining the dome off is I need to uh, go in here with a cartridge roll. I'm just going to blend these corners, get rid of this sharp corner right here. Just going to kind of roll that back a little bit. And... Uh, <clears throat> Then I'll, I'll B blast the tops, and then um, the rotating assembly will be ready to go to get balanced, and uh, um, can start putting the short block together. So, um, it's it's a lot of work cutting these pistons. I spent about two and a half hours setting up to cut the first one. And uh, each one is about a half an hour. So between doing, I have the four lefts done. These are the rights. Um, so I got three more of these to do. Probably by the time I'm done blending and cutting the dome off and uh, be blasting them and everything, I'll have probably about 10 hours just in these pistons. Um, and that's why when you go to buy a motor, it costs so much because everything is everything is so labor intensive um, you just don't you just don't when you're building a racing motor you just don't buy parts and put it together because um, <clears throat> these were made for these heads and whatnot and uh, you can see what I had to do to them to make them work um, and I had sent them the mold. They had sent me a kit to make a mold of the combustion chamber. And I did all that. And um, you still got to modify the parts. And uh, But that's that's what it takes to do it and do it right. So um, hope you enjoyed that. Um, gives you a little bit of idea what, what goes on. Um, when you're building a racing motor that's got um, other than 23 degree heads on it because this is your standard small black Chevy is is uh, what they call a 60-40 valve spacing well these Brodex heads here because the valve is so big it's a 107-36 valve spacing so they've actually moved the exhaust valve over to the outside on the cylinders two and seven, one and one and seven, and two and eight. They moved them toward toward the outside of the block, and on the inside, they've actually moved them toward the center, the exhaust valves, to make room for the intake. This uses a two-inch 180 intake, so. <clears throat> with a 160 exhaust and uh, uh, <clears throat> with a four inch bore piston the the head wouldn't fit you wouldn't have enough clearance the the valves that hit the block so but um, uh, <clears throat> that's it for uh, cutting the valve reliefs on this I'll get the other three done and I'll get the dome milled off and 
get them blended and be blasted and uh, probably the next video you'll see will be uh, assembling the short block so hope you enjoyed this get a little something out of it and uh, if you have any questions why uh, send me a message and uh, we'll see you later have a great day bye bye